Hello my beautiful Scorpios and welcome to Let Ebony Tarot. Thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal reading or information on how to do so is in the description box below. Please make sure that you are exploring all avenues of information before reaching out to me, okay? So today we're going to be doing a general reading we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you family lover friend or foe please remember um the energies in the reading can go vice versa so just take what resonates switch the gender switch the roles do what you got to do whatever you don't got to do is comment me in the comments okay so my beautiful um scorpios the overall energy we have for you today sorry my nose rings like twisted um is success gorgeous energy it says give yourself a round of applause you made it enjoy the fruits of your labor at the bottom of the deck vary your energy we have arcane okay it means not all needs to be revealed keep them wanting more okay so i'm getting something about less is more when it comes to your success i kind of feel like maybe people want you to over exert yourself do the most you know work excessively it's saying that you don't need to work excessively in order to become successful so it's something about like working smarter but not harder okay you are successful it's time for you to relax also allow people to wait okay um especially because you may have like a demanding job especially when it's something to do with online people kind of constantly want you to upload and post content or always push things out there you know if you're um self-made and you do something on your own especially if you're really creative like things take time you need to rest okay so keep them wanting more keep people feeling for your content keep people feeling for your product keep people feeling for your talent keep people feeling for your energy keep people feeling for your creativity okay go into scorpio mode especially because i think the full moon is in scorpio is it not tomorrow or well, obviously depending on when you're watching this i'm recording this on a thursday um i know in the uk the full moon is tomorrow the the fifth of may so um yeah i feel like you're in your scorpionic energy right now maybe you're also kind of doing some kind of rituals or some spell work to kind of enhance your success or your creativity of some kind okay but i feel like you're really mysterious right now people kind of want to know where you are maybe you've come off the scene for a little bit okay but keep them wanting more you don't have to tell everybody anything okay i feel like that is scorpionic's energy okay you know how to do that very very well sorry guys so this is for my beautiful um, Scorpios. I just heard Scorpi. Is that your new name? <laughs> I don't have a pet name for Scorpios. Maybe I'll call you Scorpi. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that. I don't know how I feel about that. Scorpi. I just heard that though. So maybe somebody has like a pet name for you or something like that. This is for my beautiful it's for my beautiful Scorpios. I keep like stumbling on my words as well. Maybe for some of you, you've got like a speech impediment or something. We have, I am attracting pure love. Oof. And then we have, I am sassy and sexy. Okay, so are you attracting pure love in this um full moon energy? Are you in your feelings about somebody? Who knows? Okay, this could be somebody at a distance from you. Okay, I feel like somebody just makes you feel alive. They make you feel really powerful. They make you feel grounded. Could be dealing with an earth sign or a fire sign. It does not have to be okay. Or you are pure love. Maybe you're kind of like going into the depths of your soul. Or there's somebody that's like sassy and sexy that you are really attracted to. Okay, I feel like somebody's really mysterious. And you're just like, I want to know more about this person. Or I want to get to know them. Or this is how somebody is viewing you. Okay, but pure love is coming towards your life. Okay. So gorgeous energy, this is the energy that you are attracting right now. But I feel like someone is sassy and you like that. You're just like, yeah, you, you. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but let me just, let me just calm down, okay? We have I am charming that wanted to come out. Yeah, see that smile there? Someone thinks you're charming or somebody, this is your energy. So I feel like this is you, maybe you want somebody, you're trying to think about a charismatic way to seduce someone. I feel like as well as maybe somebody's kind of like keeping their distance from you or somebody's not saying something to you. Maybe somebody's used to reaching out or making the first move, but this person, um, they're not doing that. So it's kind of like maybe you're the one that's feeling for somebody. Okay. Yeah, we have I am divine. Okay, so you, you may feel like someone's really divine or somebody feels like you're really divine. And then we have I am powerful. Yeah, somebody's really powerful here. I feel like you like that okay yeah you do we've got the i am sensual there's your card at the bottom of the deck could be dealing with the side as well as not have to be yeah but we've got i am sensual so i'm getting some kind of like sex magic here or somebody's magic is sex or you're just really desiring someone i feel like there's someone that you want and that you're feeling and like or somebody's feeling for you and it's kind of like the more that they restrict themselves or the more that because you know she's got her kitty on lock there so the more that somebody's kind of like not 
giving it to you the more you want it so i feel like somebody kind of wants you to beg for something oh my goodness <laughs> Woo! okay but yeah i'm hearing like the power of the p you know you want someone or someone wants you i feel like this is you because i keep wanting to say scorpio because i know you rule sex so this could be you really wanting someone I feel like you're attracted to someone's intelligence as well because underneath that we have study knowledge is power use what you know to your advantage maybe you're stalking someone or you're studying someone yeah bad girl someone's having some bad thoughts and we got attraction i mean let's just let's just let's just let's just you know let's just calm down scorpios okay let's calm down but yeah really sensual now for some of you if you are in a relationship i feel like the sex is really great but or somebody is like making you wait for it so you could be dating someone right now and it's just like they have all the power they have all the control and you're just you know but you like that it's like it's not easy for you it's like yes that's right mm. or someone you're with is really sensual and the sex is amazing you know and you just i feel like you just can't stop thinking about it okay i feel like somebody distracts you as well like when you're when you're trying to work so people are like feeling for you like where are you where are you it's just like listen i'm like fucking my babes like <laughs> or i'm thinking about it like i feel like you're thinking about it or this is who you're you're trying to attract this person so i feel like for some of you this is not some i almost feel like someone is really powerful here and i feel like you like that because you're a very powerful sign like you rule the occult magic so you could be really attracted to somebody's power so you're trying to draw them in but they're just like no come and get me hee <laughs> hee because he's just like, girl, like, you know, can I talk to you for a minute? She's like, hee hee. She's not even facing him. She's, she's like, yeah, I know you want me. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know you know I want you, girl. You know, it's like, well, you know, you got to love me first. Okay, so I don't know what's going on, Scorpios. Pick what side you're on, okay? Pick what side you are on. But you're really powerful at this time, okay? If there's anything to do with your, you know, success in terms of business as well, you're good at what it is that you do okay but yeah the power of love and the power of pussy that's what i'm getting here okay so we have the artist for some of you could be dealing with the pisces because they got this card and then we've got the rebel at the bottom of the deck yeah so i feel like someone's fighting you or fighting something off or somebody's really rebellious and you like that okay you like that yeah underneath that we've got the goody two shoes so maybe for somebody somebody's normally like a goody two shoes but now they're just like no or i don't know i just i kind of feel like you want to make somebody bad or i don't know but i feel like for some of you you could be in love with an artist or you are the artist or you view somebody as like really creative or you view somebody as a body of work like somebody is like art to you or this is somebody that makes you want to be creative okay now this could be somebody who you want to have a baby with as well okay but gorgeous energy i'm getting something about like abstract art like you just like the way that somebody is put together or somebody put something together okay and then we have the weirdo yeah somebody is like really different and you like that somebody's there's something really different and eccentric about somebody and it really turns you on or you turn somebody on okay yeah look the hopeless romantic at the bottom of the deck someone is in their feelings i feel like you're falling in love or someone is falling in love with you but I feel like it's the mystery because you guys like that, don't you? And then we have the gossip that wanted to come out. Yeah, Pisces got this energy, I think, too. Or was it um cancer? Could have been cancer, actually. Yeah, and then we have the performer that wanted to come out at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, for some of you, you definitely are online or you perform for a living or people watch you, okay? Or you want somebody to perform for you. This is, like, really burlesque energy here, okay? And underneath that, we got the goddess. So, I feel like, you know, you you want somebody you feel like somebody's a goddess or somebody feels like you are a goddess i feel like you can't stop talking to the about this person or i'm hearing the power of word of mouth as well so if this is something to do with your business i feel like people are talking about you like i said people want to know where you are where you're at what you're doing next um people just are really intrigued by you i feel like it's something that you do that's really different this could be your art your creativity or just the way that you do something so people are like talking about you're like the hot topic talk of the town or you want to know about this person that you're really attracted to you want to know what they're doing i feel like you like to watch somebody of course very scorpionic energy as well okay but someone is speaking to you but yeah but the gossip and i am powerful i'm getting something about you have a powerful tongue here so watch your words because i feel like you know you whatever you say can potentially come into fruition okay so just you know watch your words maybe you're speaking words of power you could be trying to call somebody in 
Okay, so please clarify the artist. What is going on for the Scorpios, please? Yeah, we have the sun. Gorgeous energy. So like I said, I feel like someone gives you energy. Somebody is your sun here. You see how um in this card, she's got the sun behind her. So I feel like when you look at somebody, you know, because you would be the knight to me that with the death card. So when you look at someone, this is what you see. Like somebody is just like abundance and beauty and energy and vibrancy and artistic and creative and the solution to all your problems or this is you this is how somebody views you but i feel like something is really gonna make you happy here or you're attracting a pure love this is like a pure honest love could be a leo leo does rule the heart so i feel like somebody genuinely has deep emotions for you or you genuinely have deep emotions for someone else or you're genuinely in love with somebody's creativity maybe somebody um created something for you and you can't stop looking at it okay but this is gorgeous energy what is at the bottom and then we have the six of cups so this definitely could be somebody from your past if it's not from your past this is somebody who you had a past life connection with but maybe you're going back to the past and you're thinking about this person because that's your energy scorpio okay so i feel like you want your ex or your ex wants you and then we have all the nine of passion here okay and then the all the five of passion but there could be a sagittarius or another leo that doesn't want you to do this or maybe there was some kind of argument that you had with this person so you're a bit apprehensive to go towards them but i feel like you want this person to heal your energy or somebody wants you to heal their energy okay i also feel like as well somebody's like irritated because i feel like a lot of people move to them a lot of people talk to them so you you don't want to irritate this person like somebody doesn't want to irritate this person here they don't want to come across as like a weirdo or like somebody who's too excessive or do you know what i mean so i feel like you're thinking you're thinking about what it is that you want to say where it so that it doesn't turn into like an argument i also feel like there's a lot of people trying to compete for your energy and it's just irritating because i feel like you're focused because he's looking over at the sun i feel like you're focused on a particular person it's like you know that leo energy i just feel like nobody compares to this person everybody else is like all the same or if this is an opportunity like maybe you want to work with someone and it's just you're just like nah you you bitches are annoying i don't want to work with you i want that sun okay yeah we have the temperance card here okay so definitely heavy sagittarius energy maybe you have significant sagittarius placements but um i'm getting something about divine intervention here but i feel like something will balance out i'm also getting something about being patient okay Re relaxing like keeping your temperament at a certain level okay this card can also represent um reconciliation as well there's like an angel around you that's trying to kind of get something together or somebody views you as very angelic and very powerful i'm hearing like an angel of like darkness okay or like darkness comes to light or something like that okay but i feel like somebody kind of feel views you as perfect or you view somebody as perfect so it's almost like if there's any energy or you know bitter energy between you and another person i feel like you want to fizzle that out I also feel like somebody is irritated because of who you choose to love or what you choose to do. And then we have the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, speaking of choices, we've got two of wands underneath and then the Emperor, okay? So yeah, I feel like, like I said, I feel like you're att attracted to somebody's intelligence or you like the way that somebody thinks. Also, somebody could have like a sharp tongue, you like that. Somebody's really truthful, really honest, really direct, or this is how you need to be. Okay, could be dealing with a Libra okay because i'm hearing like come correct don't come with no bullshit when you're talking to me like just tell me the facts tell me what it is and tell me what it ain't period okay maybe you're watching yeah because we got that sassy and sexy energy early i feel like somebody's like really sassy with it and they just you like the way that someone talks like you just you like to watch them or somebody likes to watch you this could also be you thinking about what it is that you want to say to somebody okay so i just want to um let's just clarify the nine of wands because why is that there the six of wands heavy leo energy so yeah somebody's um somebody's irritated because you're getting a lot of attention or because you're giving your attention to somebody or because you're fixated on someone i also feel like you're really proud of somebody as well or you want someone's attention and you don't know how maybe you're irritated because you can't get somebody's attention sorry my hair's just like doing its own thing today okay because somebody's like i'm getting like this feeling energy it's almost like how do i yeah look the seven of swords it's almost like you're just scheming like how do i get this person's attention could we deal with an aquarius so you could have significant aquarian placements 
there also could be somebody in your audience that's hating on you or some shit like that. They're trying to copy you in some type of way. Somebody could be irritated because you you can't be copied or you can't be replicated or they're trying to be like someone else and they just can't. Okay, but I feel like you're strategizing here, trying to figure out how you can like speak to someone because you know that somebody's really intelligent. You know that someone's really smart. I feel like someone can see right through you or somebody could read you or this could be how somebody's viewing you. Like somebody knows your energy. So, um... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And again, like I was saying before, I feel like someone gets irritated because they get a lot of attention and they just think everybody's like a weirdo. So like I said, I feel like you're thinking about how you can say something to someone without coming across weird. Like you want to express your emotions, but you don't want somebody to think negatively of you is what I'm getting or vice versa. Okay, so can we just have additional messages, please? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so many cards came out. You're a goddess. Stop allowing people to treat you like you're regular. We have you need to heal. We have you're making great choices. And then every action causes a reaction. Be mindful. Yeah. So, I mean, I feel like all of these cards go. It's kind of like you're trying to make a decision. You want to heal something or somebody wants to heal something with you. You feel like somebody's a good choice. You feel like someone is a goddess or this is how somebody is viewing you. But you need to be mindful about how you approach somebody. And again, like I was saying before... Someone's like, come with me with the truth and nothing but the truth. So maybe there's something that you need to express or you need to confess to somebody and you're apprehensive about what it is that you want to say. But it's a good choice to say what it is that you feel because we have the two of ones and the three of ones. So I feel like you want to reach out to somebody or somebody wants to reach out to you, but you have to take the mask off. You have to reveal yourself and it's worth the wait. Be patient is at the bottom of the deck, okay? So I feel like maybe you've been waiting for this or you've been waiting to hear from somebody or somebody's been waiting for you, okay? Again, with the whole keep them wanting more. So this is either you or the other person or your audience, but you know, somebody wants to talk here. They have something that they need to say and um, they need to be mindful about their approach, okay? Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Please do not hesitate to comment, like, share and subscribe. Toodles.